Together, let's embark on a scientific exploration of yoga, where you are the scientist. Your heart is the laboratory, and you are the outcome. Welcome to this episode of Meditate with Daji. Starting with this episode, we are beginning a special series of three sessions with Daji, where he will go over the basics of heartfulness practice. Heartfulness is a heart-centered approach to life that is specially suited to the demands of the modern world. In today's session, Daji will tell us about heartfulness relaxation and meditation. Heartfulness meditation is aided by a very subtle energy. This energy has been known by various names in the spiritual traditions of the world. It has been called pranahuti in Sanskrit and transmission in English. Pranahuti is, in fact, so subtle that it has often been called a forceless force or an energyless energy. Although many people around the world vouch for the fact that meditation with Pranahuti has led to profound transformations in their lives, we urge you to rely on your own experience. Today's session will take you through a practical demonstration of meditation with Pranahuti. We request you to approach this session with an open mind that is receptive to fresh experience. So let's begin this first session of three special episodes with Daji. Dear friends, I am glad to be here with you. Our sessions will be very practical. For the next five minutes, I will be explaining to you the basics of meditation and then I will walk you through the heartfulness, relaxation and meditation techniques. Decades of rigorous scientific research have addressed and endorsed the benefits of daily meditation for physical and emotional well-being. So I won't lecture you and bore you on why you must meditate. What we are interested in is how to meditate so that we feel its benefits and are encouraged to meditate more. You must have meditated where there was no transmission perhaps. Now you try and meditate with transmission. In Sanskrit, this transmission is known as pranahuti. Experience this pranahuti or transmission during this heartfulness meditation and see it for yourself. Let me mention further also about certain aspect of this meditation. Often people have confusion whether to start meditation or not because often we try meditating on our own and we get discouraged because of rush of thoughts during meditation. The moment we close our eyes, this rush of thoughts prevents us from meditation. We see our inability. Thoughts are natural to us, just as our eyesight, our hearing. What is a mind without thoughts? But through meditation, we like to train our mind use its ability of thinking so that this thinking can be heightened to a creative level. Whenever thoughts do arise in mind, we just have to simply remind ourselves that I am meditating. Whatever thoughts be, if we pay attention to it, it will draw our own energy and thrive. We have to remain unmindful of these thoughts whatever they be, as we learn how to meditate. Thoughts thus will not bother us. 
they will simply pass like clouds in the sky. Now, for the next three to four minutes, we will do heartfulness relaxation. It is preliminary to meditation. Once we know how to relax, we need not go through the process. Instantly, the relaxed state of being can be invoked and we will be able to remain relaxed without going through the process of relaxation. Try the relaxation technique on yourself. You can experiment with your family and friends as well. So dear friends, are you ready to relax and meditate? Okay, let's begin then. In heartfulness, there are no strict postures. Sit comfortably in any posture, so long, so long as you are not lying flat on your back. It may put you to sleep. Begin relaxation now. Sit comfortably and close your eyes very slowly and very gently. Let's begin with the toes. Wiggle your toes. Now, feel them relax. Feel healing energy from the earth move up into your feet and ankles. Then up to your knees, relaxing your lower legs. Now feel the healing energy move up your legs, relaxing them. Relax your thighs. Now, deeply relax your hips, stomach and waist. Relax your back. From the top to the bottom, your entire back is relaxed. Relax your chest and shoulders. Feel your shoulders simply melting away. Relax your upper arms. Relax each muscle in your forearms. Relax your hands right up to your fingertips. Now relax your neck muscles. Move your awareness up to your face. Relax your jaw, mouth, nose, eyes, earlobes, facial muscles. Forehead,
all the way to the top of your head. Feel that your whole body is completely relaxed. Scan your system from top to toe and if there's any part of your body that is still tense, painful or unwell, spend some more time immersing it in the healing energy of the earth. When you are ready, move your attention to your heart. Rest there for a little while. Feel immersed in the love and light in your heart. Now, Suppose that the source of divine light is already present within your heart and that it is attracting you from within. Gently relax into that feeling. If you find your awareness drifting to various thoughts, do not fight them and do not entertain them. Let them be, while simply reminding yourself that you are meditating on the source of divine light in your heart. Allow yourself to become more and more absorbed within.
Now, keeping your eyes closed, gently ease out of meditation. Observe and savour the condition that you have just experienced. Slowly open your eyes, carrying the condition with you. Meditate in this way as often as you like. You can also slowly extend the period of meditation up to an hour. You will cherish this journey within. Perhaps you feel calmer. Perhaps you feel more relaxed. Perhaps you feel more peaceful. Perhaps you are deeply anchored in your heart. Maybe you had tons of thoughts. It's okay. You had thoughts during meditation. But can you see the difference how you feel before and after? My guide used to tell me it really does not matter what goes through during the meditation. What is important is how I feel after the meditation. That's more important. As you gently open your eyes, write down your observations. Where was your attention during meditation? How do you feel now? Any inspirations or any great ideas during meditation? Why we meditate is because we are looking to nurture a deep satisfying connection with our heart. Our aim is to nurture this connection so that we can feel the meditative state for longer and longer periods. It is good to meditate, but we should not leave this meditation where we began and ended in that half hour. We may actively meditate every day, but we must remain meditatively active during daytime. There's a big difference here to remain meditatively active during our worldly activities. It's also a training. So that's I think end this today's session with meditation. A wonderful day. Thank you. What does destiny mean? What is fixed and what part of destiny can change? How can we design our own destiny? What is karma? These are questions that some of the world's greatest philosophers have asked since time immemorial. In his groundbreaking bestseller, Designing Destiny, Daji addresses such questions with simple solutions and practical wisdom. After the success of his first book, The Heartfulness Way, Daji explains and presents how to use the heartfulness practices to refine our lifestyle. Daji shows us how to create our future with courage and live life to the fullest. Daji has introduced us to the basics of heartfulness practice in this series on Asta Channel. Meditate with Daji. With Designing Destiny, we can take this practice even further. We invite you to discover the wisdom of this book for yourself. Designing Destiny by Daji. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Meditate with Daji. See you again next week.